Hello, my name is Sherry Sanders and I'm a County Agricultural Agent working in White County as a part of the University of Arkansas System Division of Agriculture. The Agriculture series is designed to promote and showcase women working in the field of agriculture in this state. On the fifth Friday of every month, we will highlight a woman from the past who has had a significant impact on agriculture. The first fifth Friday feature is Harriet Williams Russell Strong. She was the primary innovator of dry land irrigation and water conservation techniques in late 19th century Southern California. With no formal engineering or business school training, she became a renowned inventor, agricultural entrepreneur, civic leader, philanthropist, and advocate of women's rights and women's higher education. Born in Buffalo, New York, raised in the mining towns of the California-Nevada border, Harriet Williams Russell Strong lived up to her last name as she made her fortune with ingenuity, resiliency, and courage to take risks. A farmer's wife in California, Strong was widowed in 1883 when her husband committed suicide. She was left to support four daughters after his death with only the family's struggling 220-acre farm as a means of income. Strong patented five inventions and became an expert in water control and irrigation. Her water advancements made the Hoover Dam and the All-American Canal possible. She was later inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame in 2001 and the National Inventors Hall of Fame. In addition to her irrigation contributions, Strong was brave enough to plant walnut trees on her farm rather than the wheat, rye and barley that had been grown in the past without success. She started out with 150 acres of walnuts, a risky decision, but one that paid off tenfold. In less than five years, she was the leading commercial walnut producer in the United States. Her success earned her the nickname Walnut Queen. She tirelessly advocated for water conservation and new approaches to arid land agriculture. She also advocated for the education of women and for women's suffrage. She traveled across the continent with Susan B. Anthony to promote women's causes. Mrs. Strong was the first woman to be a member of the Board of the Los Angeles Chamber of Commerce and a trustee of the University of Southern California Law School. As Strong said, she had the courage of ignorance and plenty of determination to back it up. She passed away in 1926 at the age of 82.